We want to talk about a different coordinate system which can be used to describe the motion of a uh, particle along a curved path. Uh, this coordinate system known as normal and tangential coordinate system denoted by N for normal and T for tangential. So let me first explain what is an N axis and T axis and how is it different from you know the usual XYZ coordinate system. Uh, by the way, this is a two-dimensional system which could be expanded to a uh, three-dimensional. So, in general, if you have a path, a curved path, and an object is traveling along this path, at any instant, we can uh, define our tangential axis. Tangential axis is an axis which is tangent to the path at that instant. So, this would be T-axis, and the positive axis would be in the direction of motion. Now, the axis which is 90 degree to this and it's pointing inside, the positive direction is point inside the curve is called the normal axis denoted by N. Along the, T, uh, the normal axis, there is a point denoted by C. C is known as the center of curvature. Basically, it's the center of the curve, the center of curvature at that instant. And the radius of this curve at that instant is denoted by rho, typically, or you can call it r, and rho is called radius of curvature. So C is the center of curvature uh, on the normal axis and rho is the radius of cur curvature. But what we have to understand is this is just the, the point C and that radius, whatever that distance is, um, is only good for that instant. So when the particle starts moving from a point to another point, so let's say it moves from here, say, to here, the t-axis here is this guy, but the t-axis here is now different because particle has moved and then the normal axis similarly it's like that here and 90 degrees remember normal axis is 90 degrees to the t-axis so the center of curvature could be here and it could be a different point here obviously and the radius of curvature as a result would be a different point the only time that the center of curvature and the radius of curvature uh, radius of curvature is constant and the center of curvature is constant, let's go to another page, is that when you're traveling along a circular path, so let's say if, if an object is traveling along a circle, then at this instant, this is the t-axis, this is the n-axis. At this distance, this is the t-axis, this is the n-axis, but the center of curvature would be actually the center of the circle, and the radius of curvature basically is the radius of the circle. So in this case, the center of curvature is a fixed point, and the radius of curvature would be then the radius of the circle. So this is the only way that you could have a center of curvature which is not moving and is not changing, and the radius of the curvature is constant. Now, we want to describe the velocity and acceleration in this coordinate system. And I will do that in the next video.